Sheikh Hamdan approves DH-80 billion sewerage system for Dubai. Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Crown Prince of Dubai and Chairman of the Executive Council of Dubai, today chaired a meeting of the Council, during which he approved several major projects to support the Dubai Economic Agenda D33. The meeting was attended by Sheikh Maktoum bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, First Deputy Ruler of Dubai and Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Finance of the UAE. Sheikh Hamdan emphasized the significance of forward planning and preparation, which are key elements of the sustainable development strategy adopted by His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai. How will the new 80 billion dirham sewerage system transform Dubai? Dubai's rise as a world-class city and its ability to set new standards for future readiness and build an integrated infrastructure that can compete with the best in the world are both due in large part to this approach. Sheikh Hamdan also said that Dubai has become one of the best places to live and work in the world. It provides a stable and stimulating environment for people to reach their full potential. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe for more videos. Private Sector Partnerships The Executive Council further approved the Centennial Sewerage System, a major new municipal project for Dubai. The system, which will create one of the world's most advanced and sustainable infrastructure, will be constructed in partnership with the private sector. The project has been designed to serve the needs of the population for the next 100 years, in alignment with the Dubai Economic Agenda D33 and the Dubai Urban Plan 2040. With an investment of 80 billion dirhams, the sewerage system will reduce carbon emissions in the sector by 25%, promote circular economy principles, and contribute to Dubai's global development and competitiveness indicators related to quality of life. The private sector will help realize these goals by working hand-in-hand -hand with the government to enhance future readiness. Sheikh Hamdan has told the Dubai municipality to let private companies work with them to build the sewage system. This shows how important private companies are to the growth of Dubai's advanced and integrated infrastructure. By 2033, more than 1 trillion dirhams will have been spent by the private sector on projects that will help reach the goals of the Dubai Economic Agenda D33. Fostering Ventures, Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed emphasized the importance of supporting entrepreneurship and empowering emerging projects. He said small and medium enterprises continue to receive the unwavering support of His High Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Over the past two decades, the development of an entrepreneurial ecosystem has provided Dubai's economy with dynamic growth based on knowledge and innovation. Today, SMEs play a pivotal role, accounting for the largest share of businesses in Dubai. Sheikh Hamdan agreed that the future model of the Mohammed bin Rashid establishment for SME development, Dubai SME, would be used to give the SME sector even more power. According to the Dubai Economic Agenda D33, this strategy aims to support new ideas and projects, make 86,000 new jobs available, help 8,000 Emiratis become entrepreneurs, start 27,000 projects, and add about 9 billion dirhams to the Emirates GDP. What sustainability measures are integrated into the sewerage system? Future-focused infrastructure. The approval of the new sewerage system positions Dubai as one of the world's most modern, advanced, and sustainable cities. It will help deliver the Dubai Clean Energy Energy Strategy 2050, as well as the city's sustainable development goals by improving operational efficiencies and extending the system's lifespan from 25 to 100 years. In line with the objectives of the Dubai Economic Agenda D33 and Dubai Urban Plan 2040, important tunnel projects will be built in Dubai's Jebel Ali and Warsan stations as part of this huge project. As part of the plan, the number of main wastewater treatment plants and main pumping stations in cities will drop from 20 to 2 and 13 to 2, respectively. In cities, the number of sub-pumping stations will drop from 110 to less than 20. Treatment plants will also be turned into clean plants, and recycled water will be used as much as possible. What are the expected economic benefits for Dubai's future? Building the economy of the future. The new strategy of Dubai SME, which operates under the Department of Economy and Tourism, aims to support the entrepreneurial ecosystem in Dubai across all economic sectors and stakeholders. This approach is key to fostering a flexible and diversified future economy. Contributing approximately AED 9 billion to the GDP, creating 86,000 job opportunities, empowering 8,000 Emirati entrepreneurs, and supporting efforts to establish 27,000 projects. These efforts align with the aim of the Dubai Economic Agenda D33 to raise the demand for local services and goods to 3 trillion dirhams by 2033. The strategy expands the entity's scope to include emerging projects in the new economy and key sectors, supporting 100% Emirati-owned establishments, promoting emerging projects in the new economy for Emiratis and other nationalities, and assisting high-growth companies in both new and traditional sectors to access global markets. 
Furthermore, it supports the growth of independent next-generation companies. The strategy targets specific sectors for Emirati entrepreneurs, with a focus on future-oriented, technology-based, and scalable business models. These sectors include financial services, advanced manufacturing, transportation, energy technology, retail and e-commerce, professional services and new business models, food and agricultural technology, health and society, and education technology. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. See you next time.